Good morning. We're here on March 11th and I just wanted to show you our uh, growing room, which is actually our dining room, uh, which always turns in pretty much unusable until we plant outside now. And we've got a few things going, quite a lot more than last year. Um, I got some bigger shelves this year so I have a lot more space. And I am just using some grow light bulbs here and there to get things started. So I've got tomatoes and peppers, marigolds, some peas that I was hoping to plant out last weekend and then it frosted again. Uh, but kale, broccoli, cauliflower, tomatillos, some dill, and lemongrass, beans, and onions. A lot of the colder ones so I can get those out first and then get another batch on which I'll be putting on. We have this sweet potato which I'm going to take some slips of and grow in some tires. Try to. And some red beans which will stay in here um, on the deck. And this is my seed collection box. So the ones here on the top are all the new ones this year. The bottom ones are all filed in there and my soil and then yesterday I bought some onions that will go in and all my soil and, and last year I used these patties that I and I didn't like them very much but I've used them this year and I guess I'm using them differently they're working really well and so I got a whole bunch more and that's mostly what's going on Outside in the garden, we're getting lots of rain, but we just have been adding all our chicken poop to the garden and the chicks are out there right now uh, digging it up and turning it over and our soil looks better than it's ever, ever looked. So we are probably going to have to do almost nothing to it. We just got this weather main and just built it last night in our dining room and put it out there to grow peas up and the coop is out back there and you can see all the red on the bottom that is tomatoes i go twice a week to a very very busy vegetable market near my work and grab boxes out of the back alley where they're throwing them into the bin and bring them home and it's usually the the outsides of lettuce and Asian greens and various things like that and the case that I got this week happened to have a whole bunch of tomatoes so the chickens will go in there and eat them all up so it costs us a lot less in feed as a result. One of the other economical things we do in our chicken coop is um, we use uh, shredded paper in the base of our coop where we collect the poop and then we when we clean the coop, we just scoop it out and turn it into our garden or compost. It composts quickly and easily and we have no garbage waste at all uh, when, uh, as far as paper that comes out of this house. So that's good. And that's all for the garden for right now. This is our, our eggs and they're going to hatch on the, the uh, 19th. Okay, let's see them. This is our homemade incubator that we made out of a Tupperware container and a hot a heating pad. And we have the eggs. What did we write on them? Up and down. And why do we do that? We have to turn them all around every day. Why? Because so it doesn't stick. So they don't stick on the inside. That's right. Yeah. And we have a thermometer so that the temperature stays the same. Yeah. Okay. And we put the cover on like this. Yeah. And then we tuck it back in with a towel to keep it warm. Oops. Oops. Sorry about that. 
and we have looked inside these eggs and we think that five out of six eggs are baby chicks, right? Yeah. Yeah. And how do we look inside them? We look with a light. Right, in the dark room. Yeah. What else do we have here, Mateo? Some plants. And these plants will grow mm -hmm. up into the air. Yes, will they grow in the air inside the house or outside the house? Inside. Yeah. What else do we do that's good for the environment and the earth and our good health? We have chickens, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the kids are very actively involved with the growing process of our garden, our chickens, our big chickens that are outside fertilizing our yard right now as we speak. And they love to grow their own things too and they help pick and they know the names of stuff. More vegetables than you could even imagine. We hope that the warmth of spring comes quicker and quicker so that we can get going on the yard. But we will probably plant some stuff out and put our up our um, greenhouse this week. Although we had a huge windstorm last night, so we've been debating on putting it up all that quickly. We've had the bars up all, all winter, but never put the plastic on because we get a lot more wind here now than we used to. So hopefully the wind will stay away and we'll get the plastic up this week and we'll get some of the cold weather crops in so that they can get a head start. We'll see you soon.